four by seven and work on innovative projects. The equipment has been purchased, the place has been being renovated, and within a month's time, we will start this tinkering lab to help students create innovative ideas and pursue their passion. Uh, some of the major ongoing projects is with on, uh, on DST funded nanomission project, biological sciences project with the DST, uh, Ministry of Mines has funded us 30 lakhs on mechanical engineering, uh, BRNS supported us 24 lakhs, computer science we got funding from Accenture USA, uh, for the CSIR has funded us many projects, ICSSR has funded a project on maritime studies. We have been collaborating with many foreign universities in joint research activities, joint projects, or even student faculty exchanges. Uh, last year, to foster our collaborative research, we assigned seven new MOUs uh, with the University of Leeds, University of Perpignan in France, uh, NIO Goa, Siemens Technology Limited, uh, SCA Consortium, JSW Steels, uh, and several others. There is a Goa regional chapter of Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers, which is inaugurated by Professor M.M. Sharma at KK Birla Goa campus. Indian Institute of Metals, they also, at Goa chapter has been constituted in July. It will be operational pretty soon. Uh, Goa campus, in collaboration with the French embassy, uh, has been working on a prosthetic hand developed by La Fab in France. Mechanical engineering hand department also helped in this prosthetic hand development. Uh, now, recent past, we have been getting several delegations coming from at least seven to ten universities abroad requesting us to collaborate with them. The list is quite big. I'm not going to read out the details. In the research-wise, in 2000, since 2011, we have authored 700 plus research publications. During 2015 itself, our researchers have published 169 research articles in peer-reviewed journals and 13 book chapters. So far, 44 PhD students graduated from Goa campus. This is considerable achievement, seeing the fact that we have started only in 2008 our PhD program. The currently registered P number of PhD students is 200 in this campus. Many of our faculty members have been bringing laurels to the campus through their academic as well as other research endeavors. Professor Sunil Bond got the Joseph Wang Award. Srikant Matnuri received three projects from uh, foreign collaborators, including the prestigious Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Collaborative Research Award. Uh, we had a Backtreat Environmental Solutions LS LLP, which award startup, which was awarded the DBT Birax Persh Award for a project on resource recovery from septage. Shantanu Sarkar has been organizing several international conferences. He's in the Department of Computer Science. Uh, he also received a prestigious grant from Accenture, which only few select few from other international universities received. Professor Narendra Ghosh, he has received a Newton Research Collaboration Award together with Professor Gerard Franklin Ferrando from University of Birmingham. Uh, several of our researchers have been given visiting professorships at various institutions abroad. We have been receiving seven, you know, five patents, as I mentioned. I'm not going into the details. The details are in the booklet. Uh, during last year, uh, our students also have been interacting with many notable uh, dignitaries from across the globe who was coming and giving talks, including uh, Professor Ross King from Manchester University, or Professor Graham Fairweather from, uh, from American Mathematical Society. A delegation from Memorial University, Royal Institute of Technology, Philippines Ambassador from MDH Sweden, uh, uh, and then delegation from Aviero and University of Porto visited our campus. We also have been actively participating in the university abroad program as well as industry emission programs. We conducted several international and national conferences during 2015-16 in, in Goa campus. Uh, important ones include Modern Underwater Systems Conference Workshop, a Euro Access Information Session which was jointly organized by Department of Economics, a Tinai Echo Film Festival, National Conference on Echo Cinema, Recent Trends in Automobiles conducted by Mechanical Engineering Departments, Terra Preta Sanitation and Decentralized Wastewater System Conference, Conference on New Frontiers 
in chemistry from fundamentals to application this is the first international conference uh, there is a first international conference on trends in cell and molecular biology international workshop on advanced materials and applications in nanotechnology uh, this was held in january 2016 as part of the dst funded ukray project birak workshop on bioengineering and entrepreneurship acm india software engineering conference there have been several conferences or workshop conducted by different departments our students are our pride always they bring in laurels to the laurels to the institute by winning various awards they often go abroad keep the flag of which fly high with their own initiatives either during summer in the third year or during their research based thesis uh, wasisht taluri has won an in research internship at university of south california a team headed by sumit jain has been participating they say supra Uh, Parth Madan and Karthik Agarwal, they participate in the global soft social enterprise business model challenge. Uh, there is a whole list of awards which has been brought down by our students. Uh, major one important thing I want to tell: 23 students from which Goa were selected for Google Summer of Code 2016. Our campus has been consistently being the top five among worldwide participation in the Google Summer of Code. Uh, society of automotive engineers as i mentioned has been involved in many competitions apart from scholastic records we also conduct major festivals uh, ways for cultural cork for techno management spree for sports these are all conducted in a very uh, you know kind of elaborate top festivals in india which pilani is at an important stage of growth and we the faculty and staff and students are geared up to meet the challenges set out in our vision 2020 the growing profile of achievements of our faculty and students increase national and international focus on collaborating with our campus together with the dynamic leadership of our chancellor and vice chancellor make us absolutely confident that reaching higher heights in terms of educational scientific and technological excellence in the coming years will be an easy task for all of us the graduating students all of you are capable of excelling in your careers and future endeavors i am sure that you are going to bring laurels to yourself your families bits pilani and our nation let me wish you all the very best in your life and careers thank you very much He was a very popular general secretary mess for three years, elected at IIT Bombay, while he was studying for his B.Tech in metallurgical engineering. Born in Mapsa in North Goa, he studied at Loyola High School, Morgan. Graduated from IIT Bombay in 1978. Following graduation, he returned to Goa and entered into the manufacturing business. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. Sri Manohar Parikar, the Honorable Defence Minister of India. May I request the Honorable Minister to deliver the convocation address? Thank you, the Chancellor, Mr. Kumar Mangalam Billa, Vice Chancellor, other. Senate members, professors on the days, parents and student who have gathered today. It's a great day for you, but I think it was a great day for me because you introduced me in a short but very efficient manner. To stay uh, mess secretary for three years itself is a biggest tribute. Uh, <laughs> or compliments I got. now you know how i can survive in politics <laughs> the student uh, must be wondering how he managed to stay 3 years as a mess coordinator because it's a as we call it as a danger point for termination of your any political ambition i think but it was a start of an successful ambition though i didn't intend to come in politics Anyway, today 
all of you are here and i congratulate uh, all of you for a very successful completion of your graduation post graduation phd's and many other milestones i'm also pleased to be here at uh, bits pilani's goa uh, in fact uh, i had no opportunity to come earlier though i was one of the one who supported the idea when it was brought to me supported and went one step uh, out of the way and got all the approvals uh, in goa getting all approvals is not a easy task uh, as recently we also found when iit bombay iit goa is being formed uh, and the inaugural was done at goa engineering college we had a small group from the village where the iits are going to be set up and they are worried about environment impact of an education institute now i always thought that environment impact of an educational institute was seen in iit at y point uh, not uh, damage to the environment but uh, there are people who worry on that also and that is goa there is strength and weakness both uh but one thing i'll appreciate is that uh, bits is contributing to the technological strength of india apart from iit it's a different class of technology institution in itself and for which uh, we is to uh, be quite competitive with bits pilani when we were, we were in iit we considered it as one of the competing institution for excellence and uh, though iitians had their own ego we privately we agreed that it is uh, almost in on equal footing so i <laughs> congratulate you for that in fact i am slightly uh, taken back when i was told that ugc treats you equally with the many others whose name cannot be even taken <laughs> i'll definitely try and work out something if i can uh, talk to the concern for making uh, recognize what bits is because only probably person in technology field be able, will be able to identify the contribution but uh, technology is a very important aspect for india in india we need technology to reach a greater height so that a nation also reaches a level which uh, it rightfully deserves in last two years i have seen transformic changes which are happening on the go global front india is no more being taken as a also ran countries but uh, is being recognized for his strength capabilities in many factors in strength in technological factors in fact uh, one of my iitian friend who has migrated to us recently called me about 6 months back and he while talking to each other he just mentioned that it is first time after long period of about 35 years i am in us that i am feeling on the top of the world because after modi government came to power the people in us have started recognizing india otherwise in the olden days when i came here in that's what he is telling me when i came to us they thought that india is a country with elephants walking in the cities snake charmers and a famous indian rope trick these were the three recognized factors slowly the technology aspect of it particular it was being recognized iits were being recognized in some of the areas but overall as a country we were not taken too seriously it's last two years that suddenly the platform india is being given is of substantial nature and possibly this is out of our diaspora and as also our technology capabilities i think india needs to be great because techno and technology is a very important aspect of it which can take us to that level technology is also required for environment i was wondering we were discussing before coming to this function about uh, use of nanotechnology i feel this technology or those who ensure that technology is used 
had a, many, on many occasion been egoistic about the technology. We went against the nature. Many times if you watch the nature, you will find very simple maximum and the best utilization of materials around us. Nature has given us technologies which if we try to copy them would probably not do, do the environment damage which has been... Uh, there is no internal combustion engine in nature. But there are solar cells. There are energy cells which uh, can use simple chemical formulas which are reversible in nature and which are ecologically very friendly which returns to nature once their use is over. I think uh, technology for environment protection and technology for betterment of the society, these two things go together. We have to be very sensitive about how we use natural resources and an engineer and a technologist plays a very important role in it. I uh, remember because uh, we have heard about many stories about top scientists. But many times we don't realize that uh, we need to learn from those stories. I still remember a story how efficiency is a very important factor was being always promoted by certain scientists and Neil Bohr was uh, one of them. And once he was at his home and his friend came to meet him and he came in and he complained that you are talking about efficiency but your uh, entry door on the gate at the compound is very heavy. I had to use my force to rotate it so that I could get it. It's a rotational, which was a door. I had to use my force to get in. Uh, and you are one who talks about efficiency. These are two contradictions. Neil Bohr told him, no, nothing. It's absolutely efficient thing. In fact, when you pushed the, your entry into my compound, you pumped in eight gallons of water from uh, the <laughs> tank at the bottom to the tank on the top of the house. So you can use uh, efficiency and understand the importance of it. But I can tell you one thing, knowledge, whether it is technology knowledge or whether it is uh, any other knowledge, without values does not carry much weightage. Because the knowledge can be used for wrong use if you don't carry values. I still remember I had been uh, called initially when I was a young MLA in one colleges in Mapsa where I was, where I studied and which is my original place, Karmo Bhumi. They called me and they asked me to talk to the students, young students who could be pushed up. In fact, uh, many of the, one of the questions which often came to me that uh, uh, how do you enter politics and what you have to do to enter politics? I don't know myself. But uh, uh, quite a few people and students, particularly young students these days, uh, somehow has got taken to politics. And we do need good people in politics, but it's a hard way up. It's not an easy way. It's the same grinding you do in the colleges and the hostels. So it's not easy. But they asked me one question. Uh, this I remember because afterwards I realized uh, uh, the logic of my answering. One girl stood up and she asked me, you have been in politics. Politics is considered as very dishonest profession. You are from engineering. Do you, in spite of being in policy, do you still consider honesty as the best policy? She asked me. And I said, no. So she was shocked. Everyone was shocked. I said, I consider honesty as the best principle. Policy can be changed. Principle can't be. <laughs> if you really want your knowledge to be useful to the society, I think values count. You cannot expect output and a weightage or a desired result unless you ensure that your values are of uh, high nature. Mindset is an 
important aspect. In fact, I would uh, uh, advise you, Mr. Kumar Mangalam Billa told you that navigation by star, choose your star. I would tell you, you become the star. Why choose your star? Why not lead the people? Let others navigate by your ideas and your concepts rather than... Uh, one thing I appreciate and what you said was very important. Listen carefully. Not for a leadership only in the industrial or other field. Uh, leadership in political field also comes out listening very carefully. I was very impatient mainly because we have in politics has to listen to many issues which are very similar. People often repeat, you can put on the bell the moment I finish, uh, you want me to finish. Sound a bell. How much time I'm left with? Okay. I don't want to disturb your function. Because once it's one o'clock, I think people will start feeling hungry. But uh, I'll say that uh, when you listen carefully to the people, they do tell you many things. But being impatient and uh, knowing many common factors which were told to me, once when I was a chief minister, a gentleman came to me and started complaining about his grievance. This is an experience I had. You have to learn from these experiences. And I was uh, listening to him. In first three, four sentences, I understood what was his problem. Because this was a problem which uh, very often came to me as a chief minister, quite frequently. So while he was talking, I picked up the phone, dialed collector, and started speaking to him that such and such gentleman X is coming to you. Please uh, uh, get his work done. This is a very routine. And give me feedback in seven days when his work is done. And I told the gentleman that you go and get your work done. In seven days I got the report saying that his work was done to his satisfaction. But after 15 days I was getting another disturbing report because those were the days when Panjim Mapsa, you know Panjim, you know Mapsa, about 12, 13 kilometers, had a shared taxi.